Okay, hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I was just kind of going through the archives here looking on Kerbin at the reports and I, I was thinking about going to the Badlands but apparently I have been to the Badlands <laughs> and got some crew reports so I've actually sent a Kerbal to the Badlands I did not know I had done that but I found three here that I have not been to well, the four I actually have not been to with a Kerbal uh, the tundra, which uh, normally it's found on the northern uh, poles. Uh, the ice caps, which uh, I don't know what that is. And you got the northern ice shelf. So ice caps could be on the southern. I'm not sure. I don't know. Because here's the southern ice shelf, the northern ice shelf, ice caps, and tundra. So we're going to go to the north pole um, with a, I don't know if I want to take it. <laughs> There's only three reports from the tundra, and that's in space above, uh, EVA report above, a scan above, and a gravity scan when we space high. So I've never actually been to it. Uh, the same with this, never been to the ice caps. Uh, the northern ice shelves, never been to it. Southern ice shelves, ah, oh, I know I had a rover down there at one point. The rover must have had all these... Uh, on it. it. Surface landed, there's no crew report. So I don't know whether I want to send a Kerbal or a just a, a you know just a rocket, quick rocket up to North Pole just to see what we can discover. So let's try this Gilly probe. It's something I sent to Gilly so I know it has enough fuel to, to get to Eve. Um, but looking at the probe We need a parachute to bring it back in, and probably, I don't know, if we just kind of arc it and don't uh, don't go full into space and come in really fast or hot, I don't think we'll have much problem. Uh, but I'm thinking about just getting it into space and then slowing it down and, and dropping it right on, you know, the ice shelf or the tundra or whatever I can hit. But we do need a parachute. We don't need this big thing here antenna we need a parachute I'm a parachute uh, you think this one will hold it no I think this one will probably not probably not but it's got landing and we'll have a rocket we could burn I don't know it's just a test we'll see it uh, we'll see if it works uh, what are you your fuel tank you're a fuel tank you are a the swivel, so that's good. We just don't need all this fuel. Um, that's a 200, that's a 400, and that's a 400. So let's take out this 400 fuel tank. Still giving me 5,455, still more than what I need. Let's take out this fuel tank. Let go. 4,855. We'll, we'll leave it there. We could probably thrust limiter. Oh, I did have those set down a little bit. Yep. Uh, might be able to just take a little bit of fuel out of these, but let's take it out of here. Uh, one click down. One click down. 4,000. I have no idea if this is going to make it. So we got a parachute and a rocket. We don't want that in our staging. We want the rocket to fire first. So uh, let's get ready to launch this. We've got our boosters to go. We're going to separate and burn that rocket there. And then take the shield off. And then separate that, that, and that. Okay. Uh, there's no Kerbal in here. We're just going to send for tests. And we have an antenna which should work once we land, right? Yeah. We have these to recharge. Do we have battery? Do we have a battery? Uh, everything's good. 40 parts, 2,800 tons, or 28 point something, something. Ton. Can't read it. It's missing a ladder, but we don't have curls. So. 
Let's try it. Let's go for Northern Launch. Uh, we'll try it the first uh, first go around. It's a nighttime launch. Hmm. We may go to the next day. Let's go to the next day. As soon as it loads up everything. SAS is on. Let's go uh, two thirds throttle on that. Let's go to a daytime launch. We got good connection. Let's see what's rising on the. Can't really see the. Um, there we go. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful launch. Sun's just coming up. And we're going to be going, hmm, we'll go that way. The way I'm looking. We'll have to tilt that direction. So here we go in three, two, one. I'm going to try to tilt north a little bit, which isn't going to work going too fast. So it's just going to be a straight up launch until our rocket fuel burns out. Oh my gosh. We are going to go 500 meters per second. This is straight up. Holy cow. Going to 28, 30,000. Almost out. Straight up launch. Holy cow. We're at 70,000. <laughs> or we'll be at 70,000. Wow. Look how hot. Look how hot and high that is. There we go. That was just... Oh, let's go ahead and break this. Cut our engines. We don't need that. Let's go ahead and drop our sh um, shielding. Wow. <laughs> Wow, we are in almost in space already. It's been one minute twenty-five seconds. <laughs> Holy cow, that was a fast rocket. Okay. Now we just need to uh, <laughs> we just need to burn north. Ah, oh, that was unbelievable. We're gonna go up to one hundred and forty-four thousand meters. We're already in space. We're in space at 1 minute 46 seconds. That was straight up. <laughs> the space center is right down there. <laughs> Holy cow. 92 kilometers away. 92,000 meters. 95. Same distance. And look at all this fuel we're going to be wasting. But we might be able to use that to our advantage. I don't know. Look at the mountains coming over the horizon there. check the map see where we are <laughs> we're right here but we technically we need to burn north so let's go ahead and start our burn north here we go we're going to widen this uh, trajectory line out here until we get a near perfect polar orbit oh that's it for that uh, stage let's go ahead and kill that one is this fired already hmm. there we go that's loud sorry about that Get us one little thing opened here. Go back and check. Okay, I'm going to cut it right there because that should have us 
coming right back in over the poles. We're going to come down pretty hot though, I would assume. Falling in this way, we might get hot. I have no idea. Just a little test run here. Let's turn our little check my landing gear, make sure they're working. I remember this probe was supposed to land on a very, very light atmosphere, uh, no atmosphere, uh, very light gravity moon. Not supposed to be coming through Kerbin's atmosphere. But it's got a lot. It's got a lot of experiments on it. So we've got the um, Science Junior. We've got the Goo. We've got the Goo. We've got some gravity, some seismic, some temperatures, and what else we have? Oh, there was another experiment I could have put on there. That atmosphere pressure thing. Huh. So here we are going north toward the pole, north pole. Just going to go ahead and fast forward time here. And let's see about where we're I'm still blowing that up really high. I should have aimed down, but uh, let's go ahead and go watch it in the map mode here. Got our connection. This uh, stage, these two stages are going to uh, burn up, of course. Oh, that one's just falling straight down now. It's gone. We're at our apparatus of 197. We are falling. Hmm. We're at 181. We're falling, we're falling. We're going to be over the ice cap soon. We're over the grasslands. That's what I should be watching out for, I guess. We're over the shores. We're over water. Maybe I should turn retrograde and uh, get ready to slow down. If we hit ice caps, or I don't even know what we were going for. Tundra, ice caps, or I forget. Northern ice shelf, something like that. Tundra, ice caps. This is just a test. It's probably an expensive test. We have 908 meters per second. We're falling. Got. Uh, Gaining 1,959 meters per second. Still over water. Still over water. 123,000 meters. Looks like we might. Oh, Northern Ice Shelf. Okay. So that's the first part we'll hit is the Northern Ice Shelf. What about ice caps? Oh, oh, I understand. The ice shelf. The ice caps will be at the top. Where's the tundra? Tundra is close to land. Tundra would not be near water. It would just be water ice caps. So we would have or ice shelf. If we go a little further, we get over the ice caps. I'm getting ready to hit the throttle on this if we get uh, ice caps here. I'm going to go ahead and, um, how much battery we got? Yeah, we got one. And we got those extra shields, uh, batteries right here. I'm sorry, uh, solar panels on the sides. Still over the ice shelf. If we hit ice caps, I'm going to floor it. Try to slow down as much as I can. I won't be able to kill off 2100, I'm sure. But Oh, do I have, uh, do I have curb net? I do. Fresh, boom. Where are you? You are. Oh, it's not telling me. Oh, flying high. I'm back in the atmosphere. Okay, so we're landing on the ice shelf. 
Hmm. Maybe. Maybe landing on the ice helps. Hold yourself in retrograde. Oh, the antenna. Antenna, antenna. Retract the antenna. You don't want to lose that. Ice shelves. So this was ice caps. I just started hitting. 2100 ice caps. Still over the ice caps. The moon in the background there. The moon. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. This is going to be tough. Ice caps, still showing ice caps, flying high. Never been here before that I can think of. Almost out of fuel. I'm going to, oh, I tried to cut it just before I lost it. But, uh, before I lost all of it. So that, oh, it's going to turn head over heels, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to have to pull the chute, but I can't. Without fuel, this part's heavier. Hmm. Can I? Yeah, I'll try to fly it. I'm just trying to use the side of the craft to catch more air. Instead of looking like a bullet, it can look like a, a tumbling bullet. Can't pull the chute just yet. I don't think. Oh, 200. Can I pull it? Yep, I'm pulling it. That is it. Turn off SAS. We're over the ice caps. Hopefully, we will stay over the ice caps. We're at 9,000 feet. the moon. We are at the top of the planet. Top of Kerbin. Over its ice caps. We need to get a crew up here. We need to get... I mean, we've, we've lived on Kerbin <laughs> forever and we don't have a crew up here. We don't even have a science lab up here, which is okay, but... Oh, my lord. Look at the spin. Over the ice caps. Here we go. Falling, falling. Not sure which way was south. Well, I guess from here every direction is south. Um, look at those mountains over there. I wonder how long it would take for us on a rover. Maybe I need to send a rover up here. I sent a rover to the southern ice shelf. But I think we're going to get a lot of data from this that we have not gathered before. So, okay, landing gear. Oh, well, not yet. Wait till the uh, chute opens. Should open at 1,000. Or 1,500, anyway. Okay. Our chute has opened. We have slowed to 5.7 meters per second. It'll probably go to 5.5 five when we land. Should be okay. The moon in the background. Mountains in the background. Scatterer looking good here at the top of the world. On top of the world, the sun will probably never set. It'll always be there. Ice caps. Flying low. Oh, uh, can we? Can we? Can we? Yes. Log gravity data. Oh, I can't do gravity scan. Cannot be done. Huh? Temperature. It can be done. Let's save that one. Seismic. Nope. And atmospheric pressure. I've already got that one. Atmospheric pressure scan while flying at Kerbin. Ah. Ah, what was this one? Flying over Kerbin's ice caps. So we can get a temperature scan while flying over. But we can't get a can't get that. I don't want to do that one just yet. I want to do that one from the 
from the ground. 800 meters to go. And I don't want to do this one, I want to do it from the ground. Yeah, we need a scientist so that we can reset these. Yep. We need to make us a scientist. We need to... And that, this was a pretty good engine. I mean, pretty good pretty good go just throwing a Kerbal on here in a, <laughs> in a suit on the outside. Ooh, that'd be, that'd be nasty. Maybe a... Um, yeah, we would have to put a, land, a ladder on it so he could get a surface sample. Oh, well, I haven't even got a surface sample of, of, of the ice caps on Kerbal. Here we go, 600 meters. None. We're at the top of the world. These ice caps really look cool. Oh, it's not what I expected. I guess the ice shelf is flat, and the ice caps, I could be landing on hills or something here. Here comes our long shadow. Here we come. Almost there. Oh, ooh, we hit already. Okay, we have a uh, probe on the surface of the ice caps. Landed. Go ahead and extend our antenna. Go ahead and open the solar panels, which aren't going to work in this position because they're going to face up. Heck on it. I never thought about that. <laughs> the sun is always going to be like right there. This. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No, it'll work. Yeah, because we're going to rotate. We're going to rotate halfway there anyway. Uh, are you getting full sun? Yeah, you're getting full charge. So in half a day, then these will the sun will be over here. Or we will have rotated to face the uh, sun. Yeah, he's getting none. Are you getting any? You're getting point zero eight. You are the only one charging us, my friend. Never thought about this. Things you got to think about. Okay, so we took a temperature scan. Let's review the data and send the data. Now we can do it from the ice caps. He's getting charged back. That's good. So here we go. Send this one. You know, oh my gosh, I was so stupid. Let's keep it. <laughs> almost. Almost did a terrible thing. Okay, we're going to log gravity data. I'll tell you in a minute. Gravity scan from Kerbin's ice caps. The sensor seems to think it's being calibrated. Okay. A seismic scan here. Uh, gathered precise acceleration data while subjecting the vessel to its situation. Very good. That's what we created that for. Oh, and this was from while flying at Kerbin. Oh, I've already got that one. So we actually want to run this one from this ice caps. Collected and recorded atmospheric pressure data from the surroundings. Very good. That's what we wanted to do. Let's go ahead and grab a mystery goo. It opens up and you observe the goo. That's what we wanted to do. We want to recover that as well. And let's do the Science Junior here. Observe material Spain. The water sample has frozen solid, and the goopy samples appear to be extra goopy. Very good. We needed to know that. Okay, is that everything? I don't have any more science experiments. So we landed on the ice caps. We are recharging our battery. Almost, almost recharged. Yeah, this is a little over, <laughs> overkill for what I'm getting ready to do. 
and we are out of here. I'm going to recover the vessel. And once recovered, we will have gained a lot more data than I would have got just by sending it. So a Kerbal, okay, temperature scan, yeah. It's not a whole lot of data, but um, for money-wise, because I don't get that much science. But that's our science. We got our parts back and no crew. So let's go back into here, go to archives, go to Kerbin. And we what do we want? Surface landed on ice caps. Now we have six reports. Why is this not showing three for Tundra? It's not even showing Tundra. It's not showing Tundra. It's not showing Tundra because we never did surface land. We did in space, low and high. There's Tundra, okay. Tundra ice caps, northern ice shelf, southern ice shelf, surface land, southern ice shelf only. So we'll have to go back and hit the throttle when we're over the northern ice shelf. Tundra, uh, that's going to be hard to hit. We may have to drive to it. So, what was the ice cap reports? Atmospheric pressure from Kerbin's ice caps. Gravity scan from the ice caps. Material study from the ice caps. Mystery goo from the ice caps. Seismic scan from the ice caps. And a temperature scan from the ice caps. Very good. We have a temperature scan while flying over the ice caps. Very good. Now we can get a goo while flying over. And then a uh, science hope. Some more data, I don't know. We've got a gravity gravity scan from space just oh yeah we do that one and we do that one and we had an EVA report but we don't have a crew report a crew report from space I don't think we get one it's just EVA yeah it's just EVA but anyway hitting Kerbin's ice caps now um, keeping it Keeping it back on Kerbin here. Quick little mission up to the uh, ice caps. Let's go tracking station. I'm wondering if she wouldn't, we shouldn't just leave a probe up there, really. I mean, if you're going to have a. If you have to shoot something up there every time you want to go. Every time, and now they want us to do science readings. Uh, if we want to go up here on top or bottom, yep. Maybe the next time we'll try to hit the brakes as soon as we get over the northern ice shelf. And should I send a rover? Uh, should I send a rover? What is that? What are you? <gasps> Tundra! Oh, I've located it. Yes. Okay, so we have to hit this with a rover or a uh, manned uh, ship. We have to hit that spot. I mean, that's that's an intercontinental ballistic missile is what we're going to be sh shooting over there. It's got to go from Kerbin. Where is I mean, from right here? Yep, Kerbin Space Center. Boom. Over to the other side of the planet, basically up top. But we have it marked. We have it marked. What are you? Do I have you marked? What are you? Oh, Valentina's Hope. Yeah, I don't know what that was for. Oh, it must have been a... Oh, an anomaly. Oh, it's an anomaly. I must have found it on a uh, an overflight of one of the satellites. So, anyway, that was the ice caps. It was a mission to the uh, ice caps. Let me know if I should do a rover to the tundra. Or maybe set up a lab or a crew up here. Uh, we, it actually needs a lab, doesn't it? Uh, for role play, anyway. You don't need to do anything up there. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.